and we carry on and we rise. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Kia ora mai tatou katoa. Alistair Scott. Mr Speaker, well, that's a hard act to follow. Uh, and I would like to acknowledge uh, Marama's contribution. Also, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Ron Mark's contribution and Joe Hayes's contribution, particularly uh, being very uh, linked and tied to uh, the, the Rangatane people who are in, in the gallery this, after, uh, this morning. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the House of Parliament. Your House, it is an honour to be here speaking in this House in front of you today. Uh, it's not often that a, uh, a sitting MP gets to read the third reading, participate in the third reading of the bill, of a settlement bill, uh, in his own electorate or her own electorate. Uh, you know, so John Hayes before me, uh, Georgina By before him, did not get the opportunity to speak on a third reading of a settlement bill. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward, Mr Mark, to speaking uh, on the third reading of the Kahununu. Uh, bill in the, the near future. So we'll see you, ne so we'll see you next term. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'd also like to uh, acknowledge, and what's all, I'm not going to go through the history. Minister Finlayson has uh, described that very well, and Marama has given some very local and uh, local history and understanding uh, of the story of Rangatane. But I would like to discuss or to mention the, um, the, dis the cross claims and acknowledge the Rangatani and Kahanunu uh, arguments. And Ron Mark described the arguments as being tough work, hard work. Uh, and, you know, sometimes these disputes can be fractious, aggressive, unpleasant even. But I would like to acknowledge. The, your settlement, your understanding, because to get here you must have listened. Listened and understood, and that is the benefit of a dispute, that is the benefit, the silver lining, if you like, of understanding the other party to the dispute, whether it's Kahanunu in this, or the Crown in this case. So I acknowledge your generosity and spirit in wanting to negotiate and to agree and to listen and to understand very important. I would also like to understand, uh, acknowledge, of course, you, those who are here, but also those who are not here, those who are listening out there in, across the country, and also acknowledge those who have passed, because, of course, they have set the foundation for what is this, the third reading, the settlement reading uh, today. But most of my contribution, Mr. Speaker, will, is about the future. Because that is, the, that is what is important. That is what, that is what we are here for. That is why we do the work in this House, for the people of New Zealand, for their future. And it is so uh, gratifying, so pleasing to see Rangatahi here, here today, listening to the third reading. Now, those people, those young people up there, you would have heard stories from your parents and your uncles and your aunties and your grandparents. And if you're like my kids, you don't necessarily listen to your parents. You don't necessarily listen to your family elders or your members of your family even. So I'm going to take the opportunity to speak directly on their behalf to you. And I want to emphasise the importance of the role that the young people you play going forward, because it is now your responsibility, collectively and individually, to take, to take the mantle, to go forward. It is your responsibility to decide who will be your leaders and who will be your followers. Because you can't have leaders without followers, and there is no such thing as followers without leaders. It is a collaborative process. So I encourage you to work together, and there's been discussion around working with Kahanunu, uh, working together amongst yourselves, to build on the foundation that has been set by those that have come before you. It is a fantastic opportunity that you have in front of you, and I encourage you to take that opportunity to participate, 
to uh, look to the people before you as fantastic role models, Jason and Mavis particularly, the best people, the best of the best people for you to model yourself on. But it is up to you, it is up to the young people. I can't do it for you, none of the people in this house can do it for you. It is for you to decide how to act and react with the situation and the opportunities that are laid out before you, coming, going from today forward. So with that, Mr Speaker, I commend this bill to the House.